Cohen Payne, thank you for interviewing with us today. Yes, thank you. I, I also thank you for letting me participate in this interview. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your business, Gusto? Yeah. Uh, actually, I established Gusto in 2006, and we have a, actually two business units. One is a education, and another one is a, a consultancy and software solution. So you started in 2006. You're really a, a young entrepreneur in Myanmar. Yes, uh, in 2001, I started this business in 2006. I think that my age is uh, around 27 age, and actually we have a very humble beginning at the time. Uh, I have a, only five PC, and also there's no employee, and we started this business in a very small room, around 800 square feet, square feet room. But just because of our teaching academic quality and our services, and our, bus our business is rapidly growing. In 2007, so we have a, maybe around 15 PC, and 2008, we have a, over 30 PC and around 12 members. And also right now, uh, we have a, over, I think, a 70 PCs around, and we have a, over 50 staff members. Out of 50 staff members, we have a, a 22 full-time faculty members, teachers. So that's our histories and our stories. So that's a very rapid growth. What do you expect to see in the next two or three years? Do you expect to grow like that as well? Yes, yes, I expect to grow maybe more rapidly than before. Because um, starting from, actually when we started this gas tour, we actually, f for the training education side, we actually focus on the short courses, advanced level professional courses. Uh, because at that time, actually there's a lot of computer training school in Myanmar, but most of the schools, maybe all of the schools are doing very general things. And they teach very very basic level courses, they teach some advanced level courses, they teach and different kinds of advanced level courses. But when we started this class, we have a very clear vision and a very clear focus. We will, not, we will never teach basic level courses. And we will teach only the advanced level, professional level courses. On the professional level, we really focus on the software development technologies, software development related technology. We don't teach hardware, we don't teach networking. Because we, we have a vision, only a software technologies, Myanmar people can be a truly, really professional and can compete anywhere in the world. So we have a, that kind of clear vision. And we started a professional courses. But starting from this year, we expand our business into the another area. We we expand our business to the to provide a, a academic level diploma degree courses. So last year in 2011, we have collaborated with the Adexel from UK. Adexel is the largest education organization in the UK. So we we got an approval, and we got certified approval from the Adexel to open a higher national diploma in computing courses in Myanmar. Actually, I think we are the first institute to offer h and in computing, computing major in, in Myanmar. So, so we are now providing a such kind of diploma level degree courses. And also we, uh, we plan to expand this diploma degree level courses to the another area. Right now we, we are offering only the computing degree, but next year we hope we plan to offer a a business diploma degree and engineering diploma degree program. So, so we are pretty quite positive our to, to our business uh, future business opportunities. Mm -hmm. What is the the importance of of this kind of education, specifically maybe IT, but also the other subjects that you mentioned? What is the importance of this in Myanmar? Yeah. Uh, so, because this is an education business, this is a people people business. So, so, so we need to be very uh, we need to be very careful in providing this kind of services. And also, we believe that in today rapidly changing world, uh, as you may know, Myanmar is uh, changing a lot of in terms of politically and socially changing world. Uh, technical expertise, 
you know, what I mean is subject expertise and related skills alone are not sufficient to succeed in this, in this changing world. So, so, so we, uh, we expect to provide our students not only the technical, uh, technical expertise and knowledge, but also the, what I say, emotional competencies, uh, the like self-control, teamwork, self-confidence, and also achievement orientation mindset to put, to instill this kind of attribute and attitude to our students to really succeed in the, in this very rapidly changing world. So, so, so we really focus. Even though our institute is a technology specialized institute, we really not only the, the uh, not only we provide it hard, but hard skill of the technical, uh, technical side, but also we soft skill and human side. To be really succeed in this world. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of things would would help this acceleration? Do you need foreign investment? Do you need government involvement? What What do you need? I think we need both. Actually, we need to get a, some kind of official support from the government. Right now, that the government has not recognized fully to the private sector participation in the higher education. So we need to get a official support and official accreditation from the from the from the Myanmar government side, and also from the the foreign uh, foreigner international community side. We expect investment, not only the in terms of financially, not only the not only the financial, but also the such kind of system, process, procedures, support, and also the collaboration. Co collaboration and also we expect to receive a scholarship from the international community to give the, our students students from the private private institution. So that's that's the uh, immediate needs to accelerate our private sector participation in a Myanmar country development. Now I want to ask you also about the. The, the different computer associations in Myanmar, because I know that you're active. Actually, in Myanmar, we have a, actually three computer associations. One is a Myanmar Computer Professional Association. It focuses on the professional members. And also another one is a Myanmar Computer Industry Association. And its member is a business organization because the name is an industry. And another one, uh, the last one is a Myanmar Computer Enthusiastic Organization. It opened to the public. Everyone who interested in IT technology can, uh, can be a member of a MCEA. So there are three organizations, MCPA, Professional, MCIA, Industry, and MCEA, and, and Enthusiastic. Above these three organizations, we have a umbrella organization. And, uh, we call it Myanmar Computer Federation. So, so, so under the Myanmar Computer Federation, three organizations. Actually, above the Myanmar Computer Federation, there's a, a Myanmar Computer Development Council. Uh, that Myanmar Computer Development Council is a governed by a Myanmar Computer Development Law. So actually, we, this kind of organization, higher level organization is a, maybe, we can see is maybe semi-government, but the lowest level three organization is a really independent and really focus on the benefit and beneficiary of its members. Actually, I'm a executive committee member of a umbrella organization, Myanmar Computer Federation, and also in addition, I'm a EC members and chairman of the education committee of MCPA, Myanmar Computer Professional Association. Actually, I my uh, eighty percent of my effort is really put into the MCPA. Because that's a uh, that's uh, that's that's much in my interest. I re I'm really interested in to promote and to develop the HR and the education level of Myanmar computer professionals. Is there a lot of interest in the with the young people in Myanmar in the issue in the field of IT? Yeah, definitely. Because. Not only a Myanmar student. Actually, IT is a I think a dream of. The young people around the world, all people, all young people knows Apple, Microsoft, Samsung, NTT. They know IT company, but but they, I don't know. They they know 
any other kinds of company. So their passion and their interest is really on the IMT and mobile side. So right now the smartphone is, a, is, a, is that the cost of smartphone is is a decreasing and most of the people are, can use the smartphone. So so by why using the smartphone, they are exploring it. Oh, what's the power of the smartphone? Oh, the, the real power of the smartphone is the application, the app. So they tr they try to learn how to develop this kind of software app, and they they discover that if they can develop a, this kind of app successfully, they can be rich. So so their their aspiration is a, right now in IT and especially in the development of a software application. So as a person who is involved in, in IT and IT education and the professional associations, how do you see this field developing in, in the near future? <clears throat> yeah, I strongly believe this both ICT fee and education is a, a some of the key enablers to accelerate a country development. So ICT is a this is a physical kind of infrastructure. Without ICT, any other business and even government operation cannot be smoothly run and efficiently run. run. So 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 the ICT is a I I believe is this sector is a really make a rapid development in the near future. And also so, so at the same time, and education is also a one of the key enablers. Without the proper education. Uh, Without the sufficient education and knowledge level of a Myanmar people, the country will not develop as it should be. So these two sata, I believe, will be uh, will be uh, will be rapidly developing in the near in the near futures. Yeah. And and do you see Gusto as as growing and becoming um, a leader in this kind of development? Yeah, I ho hope so. So, because we have, we, we are an established organization, we have successfully recruited qualified faculty members, and also we are, uh, all of our faculty members are really passionate in technology and in transferring their knowledge and skills. So, what we need now is a, to uh, our system and process, our, our, our management structure. So, so we are now, trying to revitalize our organization and in terms of our management system. So right now we are collaborating and we are asking some kind of assistance from our overseas partners to assist us to review our policies, procedures, system and structure to, to make our guests to truly international institution. So, 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 so by successfully and by carefully designing our organization and according to, uh, by fully leveraging our strengths, we believe that we will be one of the key players in Myanmar education sector and also in Myanmar ICT sector. That sounds like a great plan. Thank you. Cohen thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much.